you want to see that video report, it's up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com after it aired a few nights ago on Infowars Nightly News with Ms. Infowars herself, Leanne McAdoo, her reports. Darren McBreen reports, all the great reporters reports, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, you name it, are up on InfoWars.com. And what I really enjoy seeing with a real sense of satisfaction as we go up against this tyranny is Leanne McAdoo's reports, Paul Watson's reports, Anthony Gucciardi's reports, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs reports, and others routinely, Kit Daniels reports on national television, national radio, international television and radio our reporters are now news sources all over the globe for dinosaur media and alternative new media uh, and are kicking butt and that's another testament to what you can do out there ladies and gentlemen most of these reporters uh, haven't even worked in mainstream media McBreen worked for what was it Scripps Howard news service on TV and print Leanne's got a degree from UT worked in television um, but most of these folks are people that won contests, people like David Knight. And, of course, he'd already been in media and an engineer and worked at a think tank in investigative journalism, but he was trained as an engineer. Look at what a great job they're doing just off people that entered YouTube contest. And now you see them here, changing the world. Just another example of the power of the individual working through Free association with others. Absolutely dynamite. Dynamite. Liberty is sexy. Liberty is cool. Liberty is fun. Liberty is like fresh air compared to being drowned in a pit of lies. And we are here promoting it. We have serious biases around here to tell the truth. We get off on being honorable. We get off on not being cowards. We get off on going up against tyrants. It's that simple. And the establishment calls us a disease. I call us the cure. And um, we're into this animating contest. We're into this fight. In fact, we've got to get that clip from Patton where he says, Americans, Americans aren't cowards. Americans love to fight. And then he just goes into that whole rant with George C. Scott. That's a real speech Patton gave. And it's, it's time for the American spirit that tyrants worldwide have feared to be rekindled. And the tyranny that has possessed us, it's time for an exorcism. That's what America needs, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are going to go to break. And I'm going to come back and get into all the news. And it's, it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's, it's just crazy. But here are just some of the headlines. VA employees switch from processing VA applications to Obamacare applications. We had already said that must be going on because the VA went from horrible to absolutely just the worst ever. Got a bunch of veterans work here. Got family that are vets. They said the VA was always bad. It is literal hell now at almost every facility. Continuing, HHS report. It looks like over a million Obamacare enrollees were illegal aliens. We're going to be getting into that. CDC ignores disease illegal crisis. Drudge carried this report yesterday by Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs. And guess what? They responded today. The CDC responded within hours of the report going out on the number one news aggregator on the planet. CDC confirms activation of emergency operations center in response to immigration influx. You can read that story at Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, and, of course, uh, at DrudgeReport.com right now. We're going to be breaking that down. Uh, as well today, let's get into this report. Smugglers threaten landowners in Cameron County. Uh, yeah, folks, the Mexican mafia threatens people here in Austin, Texas. And I personally have been threatened repeatedly that I'll end up dead. Uh, and it didn't matter. I still went and made the reports and people went to jail. I'm not going to go into a whole talk about that. It's been in the newspaper. Uh, but that's just the way it is. And, I mean, if somebody kills me, that's the way it is. I mean, uh, what, you think I'm worried about the Mexican Mafia? I'm going up against the New World Order here. We're going to get into that. Uh, continuing, non-citizen driver's license in Colorado. That'll, they'll fix the gun owners there that are, that are recalling the gun grabbers. They're going to let the illegal aliens vote. CBS News. Plan's pretty darn clear. But members of Congress aren't allowed to see the illegal alien command bases.
We'll be right back. Stay with us. A sudden change in the wind. The day grows dark. As ominous clouds move in and lightning begins to carve arcs in the sky. And you realize you are not prepared. I am telling you, yes, take cover. cover. The number of intense storms is increasing exponentially in the U.S. Tornadoes, hurricanes, flooding, and droughts are happening with greater magnitude and frequency. If you are choosing to rely on the government to save you. And no one's coming to help them. You could be dead wrong. The first step towards self-reliance in the face of disaster is a visit to My Patriot Supply. Com. There you'll find the absolute best prices on storable foods, non-GMO seeds, emergency water filtration devices, and so much more. All orders over $49 qualify for free shipping in the lower 48. Visit us online or call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. And speak to one of our preparedness advisors today. Remember, before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. Question, could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com. Spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM-1 from Terraganix. Life's getting better. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon Heart and Body Extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB Extract, paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise, can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB Extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit HBExtract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to HBExtract.com. All this stuff you heard about America not wanting to fight, wanting to stay out of the war, is a lot of horse dung. Americans traditionally love to fight. All real Americans love the sting of battle. And when you were kids, you all admired the champion marble shooter, the fastest runner, the big league ball players, the toughest boxers. Americans love a winner and will not tolerate a loser. Americans play to win all the time. I wouldn't give a hoot in hell for a man who lost and laughed. That's why Americans have never lost 
and will never lose a war because the very thought of losing is hateful to America. Now, an army is a team. It lives, eats, sleeps, fights as a team. This individuality stuff is a bunch of crap. The villious bastards who wrote that stuff about individuality for the Saturday Evening Post don't know anything more about real battle than they do about fornicating. Now, we have the finest food and equipment. All right. The best. That's George C. Scott in the movie Patton, actually, word for word, reenacting a speech that uh, Patton gave. And he was talking about individuality in the military and saying America never lost a fight. That was up until we went under UN control for Korea and then Vietnam. And it was designed to create a counterculture movement that could pose as heroes and to get the well-meaning young people to become the new socialist elite and bring in their new tyranny. Rand Corporation, you name it, it's all been declassified. And now we're under it. And they want to break this country once and for all, break our national sovereignty, and teach us how to be losers. And now America, with the most winning record in science, patents, trailblazing, war fighting, literature, art, nobody had anything on America. That wasn't Americans saying that. That was the French. That was the Japanese. That was the Germans. That was the British. That was the Dutch. That was the Spanish. Historians marveled at the American spirit. We were exceptional. When Vladimir Putin says you're not exceptional and stop thinking you're exceptional, he's saying stop being arrogant like you can just do whatever you want. You're not exceptional. I disagree with Vladimir Putin. America was exceptional in many ways on the eve of July 4th, and I'm going to talk tomorrow in a special taped broadcast I'm going to do at least for the first hour. I'm going to tape today. We'll be here with an original show tomorrow, but I'm going to tape it. Then back Sunday live. We're going to be going over some of the reasons America really is exceptional. But now, it's not that we were exceptional in a lot of good ways, and also exceptional in some bad ways. Everything's multifaceted. Now we're exceptionally overweight, exceptionally unhealthy, exceptional diabetes, exceptional cancer, exceptionally low IQs, exceptionally low industrial capacity, exceptionally lazy population on average, and exceptionally pathetic. No one else puts up with having their genitals grubbed by the TSA and naked body scanners while the borders are wide open. No one else puts up with a government that publicly funds Al-Qaeda. No one else puts up with illegal aliens being given free welfare and driver's license, which they're then allowed to vote with in more than six states. And Colorado is set to be the seventh state. Game over, folks. Just like they say in the movie Aliens, game over, man, game over. What do you mean they cut the power? I mean, that's basically what this comes down to. North American Union, like Nancy Pelosi and General Petraeus, both said in the last two weeks, the border's gone. Mexico just got rid of its southern border and is flooding the U.S. On record, in the Central American newspapers, it says, you will be arrested if you go into the major cities. Stay at the train terminals. Go in, the, the federales and army will escort you. They get on planes, they land at military bases, coordinated, like Biggs Field in El Paso, and major fields in San Antonio and Dallas and Houston. I mean, they're landing, calling in the air traffic. If a citizen flies over in a Cessna, F-16s are launched, you're brought down, you're arrested, charged with a felony, lose your license. The, the, the aircraft are landing at military bases, to facilitate this, three months ago, the Border Patrol president went public to Breitbart and was interviewed, audio and video, two different interviews, so did the vice president, and said there is a stand down from San Diego to Brownsville. And then we went down there with cameras and it's on video. But it's beyond the stand down. They are ordered to put them on buses and ship them in. And I know you know that, but we're just now forcing that national debate and, 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 and you notice there's people demonstrating against this, and they're calling them racist and all this other garbage. I mean, imagine if you went to Russia or Switzerland or anywhere else and said, I'm showing up here for everything free, they would laugh at you. We have become a joke.
Yeah. We just start admitting that. We're on the march. Uh, the Empire's on the run. Well, we are is in a major battle. Alex we'll be right back. And the GCN this is all about Network. NAU. NAU. I'm breaking.